Alright, so. Dishonored has a lot of cutscenes. One of them is right up here. Right, right Hello, around sir. here is the trigger for Emily to walk around the corner and come hug us. All that is slow, so we're going to do an elevator instead. Elevators are a bug with how collision works. For some reason, the game thinks that there's one pixel or so on every corner all the way up that you can mantle, just like small ledges and other things in the game. So, you could try to move around and find the pixel, like it just appeared there um, twice, maybe the recording didn't get it. But that's slow and kind of annoying to do, so instead we sprint holding W and A into a corner. You want to be almost 90 degrees to where you move back very slowly, but not exactly 90 degrees because that doesn't seem to work all the time. And then let go of W, press S, jump, and let go of movement keys except for sprint. And if you time it perfectly, or just right, you should climb all the way up the wall. You might need about 150 FPS to do that one, I think. And then we can just jump over Emily's trigger. If you land down here, the game will kill you, but if we land on this railing here, we have just enough health to live. So she's just gonna stand there for now until we need her in the cutscene up ahead. She'll see you at once. Now once we give Jasmine the paper, we're on a timer. We have to get all the way out of this confined area we're in. We have to do an elevator, we have to run around on the invisible walls, come down, do a wall slide and not die, and drop down again, and then do two more elevators before we're where we need to be. And we need to do all of that before the next cutscene triggers. The cutscene trigger is a little while after the uh, combat tutorial ends, which starts after Jasmine finishes talking. So now we're on the clock. What we need to do is come up here, like this, and then walk around on the invisible walls here. And then, the hardest part, right here, is the wall slide. Because sometimes it likes to do it, and sometimes it doesn't like to do it. And you need to do it low enough that the game will stop you from falling to your death. It's more difficult to do when I'm recording. There we go. Now. If we run this way, we'll actually trigger Emily's cutscene still. She won't come down or anything, but it is still an active trigger because we never walked into it. So we have to go around. And do this elevator right here. And here's the assassins. So instead of fighting them in the combat tutorial, we're going to run this way. So here's this assassin who doesn't seem to really care. Also appears to be somewhat immortal, at least. And this guard who is not a fan. And here's Dowd. Now, Dad will actually fight you, so you need to be careful, or you might not actually kill him beforehand. I managed to. I think if Dad is also in combat stance or moves from where he is, the game won't know where he is, so it won't teleport him into the cutscene. So what we think is happening here, causing this soft lock, is the game is trying to teleport the actors that it needs, namely you, the guard, the assassin, Dowd. But because Dowd moved, it doesn't know how to doesn't know where they are to teleport them. 
so the game just fades your screen out and then doesn't do anything because it doesn't know what to do. It freaks out and doesn't know what to do. You can still move around. You can still move around and you can hear that by me throwing Dad's body and shooting the pistol. You can also hit the ground, but it doesn't matter because the only way out of this uh, area is via cutscene. So we soft lock. What something else you can do is these walls aren't solid, so we can just run over here. And if we go to about there, our hands are now distorted, and you can see I'm still holding my pistol for some reason. So, for whatever reason, if you run into the water there, when you get teleported for this cutscene, it doesn't refresh the lighting on your character. So, you can have discolored hands, like mine look like I'm where I was. And you can also keep your weapons out for some reason. So we can just cut Jessamine's neck, and I'm sure it's fine. She'll, she'll be fine. Find her. <laughs> Protect her. You're the only one who will know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. And I think that's most of the run. Look at what he's done. 